Welcome back. A Taylor County business is looking to help boost the local economy as it enters a national contest. Ron L. Hunt met with the business owners in Grafton and has their story. With a host of small businesses from around the world and state represented, Express Yourself Coffee Shop in Grafton are amongst those names as they enter the FedEx Small Business Grant National Contest. The owners of Express Yourself, Tom and Donna Hart, say they couldn't pass the opportunity when they heard about the contest. And I discovered it uh, through an email uh, from the Service Corps of Retired Executives, Small Business Administration. So. Uh, with the help of our customers and friends, we were able to put together our presentation and enter it, and we're very excited about uh, being in the contest and where it may lead. The national contest recognizes and rewards unique small businesses with grants up to $50,000, with eight bronze winners getting $15,000, one silver winner getting $30,000, and the final winning $50,000. Tom says the grant will help them expand their operation to develop a platform for artists and live community entertainment. The public can come in and interact with those artists and watch them in the process of creation. And then once they've created artwork, we can transfer it over next door to our retail space and they'll have a market for it. So it's stimulating economic development and giving artists a place to work and establishing a relationship between the general public and the artists themselves. The hearts say if they can expand their business to help others, they hope Grafton as a whole can grow better economically. We want everybody to do well. And if we learn something for this, from this, then we can help uh, transfer it and share it with, with some of our neighbors. We'll be glad to do that. April the 1st will be the deadline to cast your vote. And for more information on how you can vote for Espresso Yourself Coffee Shop, you can visit our website at WBOY.com. Reporting in Grafton for 12 News, I am Ron L. Hunt.